So in the last section of your notes, we talked about how we measure pressure with is um, two different instruments, either called a manometer or a barometer. We're going to go back to our barometer today, and we're going to look at that a little bit more in depth um, because it has to deal with one of the units that we're going to talk about and then actually two of the units. And then we also had the manometer, which typically in the United States, we use a certain unit to measure those. Um, so we're going to look at just your pressure units. And when we look at our pressure units today, we're going to look at the um, units themselves and how to start with one unit and turn it into another one. So typically in chemistry, for all of the math that we're going to do all semester, um, you're going to have to convert to atmospheres, ATM. An atmosphere is typically about what we are right now at um, sea level, which we're almost at sea level down here. Um, but with your atmospheres, it is one ATM um, is equal to, and then you'll have a bunch of different units that you won't have to memorize. So they'll be given to you. I'll have them on the um, test. They'll be on your paper, things like that, that you are just going to use to do these conversions. Now, depending on how you get your data, you're going to have different units that are going to be given to you. And in the math, typically you're going to have to take whatever unit it is and convert it to atmospheres. So typically in physics, they like to use a Pascal. A Pascal is a metric base unit. Um, that metric base unit, the Pascal PA, you can put kilo, milli, centi, any of those different um, prefixes in front of it. But the kilopascal and the pascal is just one basic unit. And again, they typically use that in physics. The next one that I'm going to talk about is your millimeters of mercury. And I'm actually going to go back to a picture further up here. Let me move my little picture here. Um, and with that um, barometer that they originally used, a guy named Torselli, that name's going to be important here in a second, made this barometer. Now this is a typical barometer and even now they're digitalized. Um, you can get one on your phone. They're just everywhere pretty much now. But this was the original barometer. With this original barometer, they had a big pool of mercury and they took what was kind of like a test tube and they filled it all the way up to the top with the mercury. Now this is huge. It's not a little test tube like we use in class. They filled it all the way up with mercury flipped it upside down, and they put it into the big bowl of mercury down here. Now what happened was some of the mercury fell inside of the glass tube, and it went back into the bowl. Now that had something to do with gravity and a little bit to do with the air pressure. Now with that air pressure, the air pressure is pushing down right here on that bowl. Well, air pressure changes. And it changes depending on if you have rain moving in or rain moving out, or if it's a nice day, or if it's a nice day and it's going to be rainy. Your barometer or air, bah, barometric pressure can rise and fall depending on what's going on in the atmosphere. So they can use this to predict weather that's actually happening. But the first guy, Torselli, had this big pool of mercury. He figured out that the air pressure is pushing down on it, and it makes the barometer rise or it can make the barometer fall when you have a decrease in that air pressure. So when they're talking about the barometer rising and falling, this is actually what it goes back to. But they actually put millimeters on the side over here, and they measured the millimeters of mercury in the column for that particular day or for that particular time of day. So with your millimeters of mercury, that is a different metric unit that you're going to see a lot, especially when it comes to um, weather and your barometric pressure. So MMHG, you're going to see quite a bit. Now they renamed millimeters of mercury to Torselli, the T-O-R-R, -R, Torselli. Um, that did not go over very well in some scientific communities. Some scientific communities really liked it, but it is the same unit, just renamed. So with that metric unit, they are equivalent to one another. So when you see our list of um, metric conversions, they're going to be the same. And then here in the U.S., we don't like the metric system because, you know, metric is bad. So we have pounds per square inch. Typically, we see that in the U.S. as PSI. Um, my tires on my car, it says this is how many pounds per square inch PSI need to be inside of my tire. My motorcycle tires have a different PSI 
depending on the um, size of the tire. So when you see things in the United States, typically they're in PSI. We're going to have to get rid of that PSI and go to a metric unit. In chemistry, we're going to use atmospheres. So the list of all of the different units are here with the different equivalences. Again, you don't have to memorize this, but all of them go to one ATM because all of our math we're going to have to use in atmospheres. So with your pressure conversions, we are going to be given one unit. We're going to turn it into another unit. You might have to do two steps, but typically all of these are going to be one step problems. I'm going to switch over to my document camera here. This is my list of all of my different units of pressure. So my conversion factors that I have, they all go to atmospheres except this one down here is one MMHG is equal to one Torcelli. Um, that is because, like I said, it is the same units. PSI can be written in one of two ways, pounds per square inch or PSI. Um, so I put both of those there just so you knew what they were. So in our practice problem here, it says convert 892.8 millimeters of mercury into ATM. So when I look at my chart, I have a conversion factor that says 1 ATM is equal to 760 millimeters of mercury. So this is a one step problem. So I have my 892.8 millimeters of mercury. To get rid of millimeters of mercury, millimeters of mercury has to go in the bottom to cancel. So my conversion factor says that there is 760 millimeters of mercury in one atmosphere. Millimeters of mercury on top and bottom cancels, so that's going to turn it into ATM. So at this point, all I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up my calculator, 892.8 divided by 760. This number right here has four sig figs. That means that I'm going to record my answer with four sig figs. So I have 1.175 ATM. Sorry, there's a bad glare on the calculator. Let's see if I can pick that up a little bit. There we go. Um, so 1.175, because the seven made the four go up, and I have four sig figs. So I showed my work, correct answer, correct unit, number of sig figs. Four points for all of my math problems for 1.175 ATM. Next one, it says convert 34 PSI to Torcelli's. So when I look at my conversion factors, I don't have one conversion factor that goes straight from PSI to Torcelli's. I have one conversion factor that says 1 ATM is equal to 14.7 PSI. I have another conversion factor that says 1 ATM is equal to 760 torcelles. So this is going to be a two-step problem. This is as long as these are going to get. Always start with the number that's given in the question, 34 PSI. To get rid of PSI, PSI has to go in the bottom. It says 14.7 PSI is equal to 1 ATM. PSI on top and bottom cancel. Now I'm going to take my atmospheres and go to Torcelli. 1 ATM is equal to 760 Torcelli's. So ATM cancels. So again, I'm going to pick up my calculator. I'm going to multiply across the top. 34 times 760. And then I'm going to hit divided by 14.7. First number here has two sig figs, so I need two sig figs in my answer. So I end up with 1800, no decimal place at the end to keep my two sig figs, Torcelli's, T-O-R-R, -R, Tor. So I hope that that helps. If you guys have any questions, definitely ask. Um, you're going to want the pressure conversions handy when you're doing these problems. Otherwise, um, they pretty, should be pretty straightforward after <laughs> doing the stoic units um, that we did last. Have a good day.